What is up guys, I'm Daniel, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to start a tubs vending machine business. Now, if you're not already aware, if you've not seen my other videos, uh, I currently have a small tubs vending machine business that I run, and I actually use it as a passive income stream. I don't use it as a full-fledged business, and I'm not making full-time income from this passive income. So, first of all, what are tubs machines? So basically what they are, is a small sweet or chocolate or confectionery dispensers. All you do is you put a pound in, it's operated by putting the pound in, twisting the lever, and the sweets pop out of the machine. Now, the reasons why I chose tubs vending machines was for number one, they're cheap and accessible, and two, they're really light, um, and they require no electricity, so it means it's pretty much no cost for the business you're trying to get it to, so they're slightly easier to sell than a normal vending machine. Now, before you even start your vending machine, business or even look at anything make sure you have first the investment so make sure the investment is there now i'd say you need to start with you just wanted one machine start with around about 200 pounds this would buy your first machine and buy your first a box of sweets to put into the machine um obviously the more the better the more money you have the better it is i started mine with one thousand pound but i bought five machines and i bought a whole um separate boxes of confectionery rather than buying one mixed box but i'll get into that further into the video but definitely get your investment first two now before you even go out and purchase any machines any stock anything go and find location first test it test out uh, your sales skills test out to make sure that the machines are actually wanted in your area so you could go out and buy five machines and then find that no one wants them. So now you're stuck with these five machines and it's gonna be hard to sell them or you know you might not get as much as you bought for them so you lose money. So first, go and find locations. Finding the locations, I start in barbers and the reason is why I go for barbers is because people are obviously walking into the shop and they're sitting there for maybe an hour, two hours so they're bound to buy something because they get bored. That's why I, I go for barber shops. Now the barber shops I go for, I don't go for ones that take bookings. If, if it's a barber shop that takes bookings, do not go to that barber's because people go in, they get a haircut and leave. They don't have any time sitting around. Each sure other barber shops within driving distance. I won't drive more than 15 minutes for a barber shop or any location at all um, because the money then, you know, fuel will start to really come into a cost and I'll break it down later on, but fuel will really start to eat into your profit margins and make it quite difficult to start making any kind of good money. Make sure when you're doing your sales pitch uh, and you're, you know, you're speaking about how much commission they'll make from the machines. I don't offer more than 20%. Now, if you can get them to take 10% profit margins, great. That still leaves you with a really healthy profit margin. But when you start touching the 20% and above, you know, you're really looking at making pretty much nothing. So I would definitely only give away 10%. You found your location, maybe it might be one, might be two, maybe just do a week where you, you know, you're trying to find people that maybe that might be pitching over the phone, might be sending emails, maybe Facebook Messenger, it could be going into the shop itself, whatever it is, whatever you find comfortable to pitch. And if you want me to still do a video on that, let me know. I definitely will. But once you found your location, now you can look at actually purchasing the machines. You can either buy these machines secondhand or you can buy them brand new from tubs themselves i will leave their description below however i bought mine secondhand again the reason as to why i wanted to test to make sure it actually works so i didn't want to go out and spend i think it's like 200 pound or close to 200 pound on one brand new machine when i can buy a use one for like 75 pounds i can buy three for the price of one i started like i said buying used machines now with the used machines for one make sure the brand new they are taking the brand new and accepting the brand new one pound coins and number two make sure there's no faults with the key mechanisms so the keys actually work for the whole machine and the actual mechanism itself works so put a pound and actually twist it and try it uh i did actually take one machine and it didn't work uh, but i didn't test it so it was my own fault when it actually comes to the product and buying product you buy it all from tubs website itself again i left the link in the description for you um now you can either buy a bulk load of products which means you buy one box of one product you get 96 of one product or you can buy a mixed box of 96 now it does work out slightly more expensive however i would recommend starting with a mixed box of 96 so you can get uh nine different products uh, in one box of 96 rather than having to buy nine separate boxes of 96 it's going to cost a lot more that way so however Definitely start with a mixed box and with the mixed box as well, you can test different products, see what products sell well, see what products don't work. Uh, for me personally, what I found that really works is Skittles sell really well, marshmallows sell well, chocolate mini eggs sell really well. 
and like these small Avengers toys sell really well as well. So if you are looking at starting, I'd highly recommend getting them put in your machine and then just test the other products that Tubbs actually do offer. Now Tubbs also offer um, to buy the Tubbs yourself and then stock the sweets yourself as well, but a word's out, it doesn't really work out with very much money. Buy the mixed box, it works at around about 55 to 60 pence per tub of sweets, which is amazing, it'll leave you around about 40 to 45p profit per, per tub of sweets. However, if you do buy uh, separate boxes, it'll work around about 45p per tub of sweets, which leaves you a 55p profit. So big, much bigger profit margins. However, I'd still recommend getting the 96 and testing it out. That's what I did, because I found that buying the tubs own brands it didn't sell at all so if i would have bought a box of 96 of them i would have been stuck and i would have made no money now the maintenance and emptying of the machines simple i'd first start by going every two weeks to the locations and if it are if it you know if it works for you and you find that yeah i've run about half the machine to most of the machines gone carry on but if it's selling that really quick go once a week if it's not selling very quick go once a month or once every three weeks You'll, you'll learn test the waters, but start with every two weeks, it works out around about right. But when you are taking the stock out, make sure you keep track of stock. Work out what's selling really well in that shop, work out what's not. Like I have a shop where I have literally only Skittles, Marshmallows, Avengers toys, and uh, these little rainbow sweets because they sell really well. Anything else I've tried in there has never worked. I only sell them. Also, as you are doing that as well, work, figure out how much you're making from each location. Uh, if you're not making at least £20 a month profit from that location, get rid of it. Now, between 20 and 40 is decent, but I do have some locations where I will make 70 and £90 profit per month from that location. So definitely at least 20. If you're making 40, you're doing well, to be fair, you're not doing too bad. But there is some locations, some barbershops I have that make really good money. And it's, you know, it's definitely worth having. Last but not least, and it's one of the things that a lot of people look over, but build rapport with the shop manager or the owner or whoever it is who's in charge of that shop. So like, say, for example, I have a barbershop, only one at the moment, where I've gone in, I've built rapport, I have a laugh with the barbershop, I have a laugh with the staff, I have a laugh with the manager, and it's got to the point now where he doesn't want to take commission off me. I go every month now, or once every two weeks, this shop does really well for me as well, and I don't have to make commission. So I say to myself, every time I go, maybe 10, 15 pound, I get to keep for myself now because I don't have to give it to him. If you can try and get a few shops like that, and then over time you've built the rapport, and now they don't want the commission, you know, you're laughing, aren't you? Because you now have even more profit in your pocket saving yourself 10% each time or 20% each time could over the year gain you an extra 100, 200, 300 pounds for the year. So, you know, if you had a few locations like that, you could save yourself thousands. So definitely look at doing that. Now, if anyone does have any questions, let me know. I will answer them the best of my ability. I'll make a video on it. The reason why I made this is because a lot of people kept asking me these exact same questions in the comments. So it's been your boy, Daniel. Hope that helps. Peace.